you are confessing of today. But next day, first of March 2017, from a UN daily host, Mr. Sir is uh, greeting with you in Islamic Korea. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. from the APN by the help of our blogger, our schools. Myanmar are being defined as a situation against my Indian eyes and poor of abuses. Myanmar accuses UN envoy of bias over Rohingya violence. And Myanmar's decision to give some Muslims officials IDs stirs protest. The details are as follows. Myanmar's military defense defendants described on the Rohingya Muslim minority as lawful conference legend separation at the Rearness as incident conference on Tuesday, adding it was necessary to defend the country. It was the first time that top general directly addressed the mounting accusation of human rights abuses, which according to UN expert may amount to crimes against humanity and its recognizing. I want to say that I am very sad because of this kind of reckless accusation and neglect of the good things that the government and the military have done for them, said General Miyamoto, chief of the general staff, referring to the forum in the media, quoting Rohingya and describing the Irish abuses such as burning up houses in the area. He presented a series of slides with selected media report claiming the military had investigated them and that the villagers told military. Investigator, they did not know about abuses. The Myanmar government has hit out at UN Special Reporter and his latest comment on people who have flat rocket state, saying it disagree with her statement and find them unfortunate. Responding to channel. As news access queries, Myanmar Foreign Ministry Deputy Director General A. E. So said, Ms. Lee appeared to be defending, defending the right of only one group of people and to appease this group in the community without referring to the Rohingyas. Ms. A. E. So said, This shows Ms. Lee's bias as she was not speaking for other kinds of Buddhist and other kind Muslim communities affected by the October 9 attack in Mamlo Rakhine State. And finally, around 600 people in Myanmar's breast of Rakhine State have protested a government decision to give 15 free Muslims official identification cards, saying the MOOC was illegal. The protest on Monday in Situ and Mongdo underscore the difficulty Myanmar faces as it attempts to deal with its exit strife in the country where the largely Muslim Rohingya people are considered illegal immigration. immigrant leaders of the protest in Situ and the Rakhine State capital where about 400 people demonstrated and Mongdo where three were about where there were about 300 demonstrated all RFAs. Myanmar is that local people should be part of any government review for Muslim people who are given the official ideas. Only the local resident know about these Muslims' backgrounds said thing and for let the protest in situ a government official knows now about them. They work on this citizenship process without discussing it with with the local See an immigration official to protest leaders did that they were following orders when they kept out the IDs, but they refused to elaborate on those orders demonstrated on T told RFA. Just saying a protest in situ said that she was not necessarily opposed to Muslim receiving the identity card, but she accused local officials of giving the decision secret. The most powerful and responsible man in the kind of state is the chief minister, and the chief minister did not say anything about giving ID card to Muslim. She said the border affairs minister did not say anything about it as well. So this is a portrait from my English news service. Thank you for watching our opinion.